Welcome back as we continue on with our financial literacy series. And in this segment number four, we're gonna be talking about how you can continue to create a regimen for financial success, right? Now, one of, the, one of the great books that I've read in my life is called Success Is Not An Accident. And in this segment, we're gonna share with you why that is so true. As many of you know, and you've seen of successful people, multi-billionaires, multi-billionaires, multi-millionaires, and the list goes on. They always leave clues. There's some form of discipline, some form of habit that they're doing that allows them to continually be successful and breed success. In my personal opinion, I don't believe we always have to, to learn by failing or, or, or fail then learn. You know, successful people work, learn by other people's failures. And in this series, hopefully you, you, you can gain from that. You do not have to go through all of the pitfalls and the hells and challenges of life when you can learn and use resources and people and individuals that can help you get there faster, right? So be very intentional on that. Now in this number four segment, creating a regimen, what does that mean? I highly encourage you to create a financial regimen to revisit where you are and look at where you're going next. A regimen is something that you do regularly to do a, a quick checkup, a quick check-in, and I encourage you to use your financial professional, your financial advisor, your financial consultant, whatever it is that you're doing, your professional, to continue to enhance your life. Do not simply use individuals as a, when I get around and maybe sometimes. Use them, use them, use them. You are probably paying them in some capacity. If you're not, well, you're probably getting exactly what you're getting in return. But most of the time you are paying some form of financial professional, consultant, advisor, coach, or whatever it is. So make sure you use them as a resource and hold them accountable. So the regimen can be that you have a standing meeting once a year, twice a year. For some individuals, once a quarter at the very minimum is what I recommend. Once a quarter, every three months, you want to look at your financial state, look at where you are, look at what you're doing successful, look at what you're not doing successful and adjust and make changes. If we look at Fortune 500 companies and top multi-billion dollar corporations and some trillion dollar corporations, they always have what? Quarterly reports. Why do they do these quarterly reports? It's very intentional so that they can continue to be the multi-million, multi-billion and trillion dollar corporation that they are. So knowing the financial wealth that you want to have, you need to start operating and thinking like that. So at the very least, you need to set some form of regimen to do a financial checkup. Every three months, sit down with yourself, sit down with your family, sit down with your team, your coaches, your consultants and advisors and revisit have a standing meeting, have a regular meeting and a regimen that allows you to revisit how you're doing on your goals. Revisit where you're on, on your financial trajectory. Are you on the right trajectory to get to that retirement date? Are you on the right trajectory to get to that vacation on the specific date that you want to go to? Are you on the right track to give that big gift or that big donation or that big contribution on that financial journey that you're on? So in this number four segment, it's about creating a regimen to have a financial checkup and a financial check-in to make sure that you're on track to hit your financial goals. All successful people do it, so make sure that you're playing the game as well and doing it the right way. Create a financial regimen. As usual, we'll see you soon in the next segment that you're gonna love. Now remember, 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 you can have every single thing in life that you want as long as you truly believe it. We'll see you soon.